Five Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and I'd like to introduce a little bit about the history of VM5 today. In 2015, our CEO, Jimmy, in Shenzhen, China, decided he wanted a solution for prototyping his ideas. He used lots of different boards and connected them with lots of messy wires on breadboards and felt that this wasn't a very efficient way. So he started developing the M5 stack. First, he made a 3D printed prototype. And then from then on, he started to improve it more and more. Later on, we entered into the famous hardware accelerator PAX, where we continued to improve and add more functionality. Until 2017, where we developed the production ready M5 Basic, which I will introduce now. The M5 Basic has a 2 inch LCD screen and three physical buttons. On the left side, it has a power button, also can be used for reset, a USB C connector for charging and uploading your code, a growth connector, which is quite a well used standard for many different kinds of sensors. Underneath, we have a TF card slot for adding more functionality and a speaker. On the other side, we can see that all of the GPIO ports are clearly labeled, so they're easy to find. And we also added some magnets, which helps it easier to stick to metal surfaces, which may be useful for some of your projects. Next, we started to develop the gray. Gray has improved a lot of the problems of the initial module. And also we added an accelerometer. Then we started to focus more on the STEM education. We wanted to make it easier for students to use in schools. So we added more growth connectors so it would be easier for students to plug straight in the sensors. We also added the microphone inside and we made it Lego compatible. As we understand that a lot of schools like to use Lego for prototyping their projects. Also has a pogo pin which then helps the modules stack together magnetically instead of having to take the modules apart every time you want to add more stackable components. Also on the sides we can see there's two RGB bars which use NeoPixels which are LEDs that can display many different colors. Then we moved on to the Fire. Fire is our strongest and most powerful version of the M5. Initially, a lot of our professional makers who wanted more RAM, more capability, the ESP32 just wasn't enough for them with its small amount of RAM. So we added PS RAM up to four megabytes, which really packs a lot of punch and helps the makers to make more complicated products with the M5. As we've talked about before, our M5 Go is a stackable system. So we've developed many different modules. I'll go on to talk about some of these in future videos and introduce all of the different modules in our ecosystem. Again, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below and look forward to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.